You know, as restrictions ease, there are more and more events that we can check out in person, even though it is in small numbers. We know that. The Winston-Salem Symphony is planning a hybrid concert. This is happening next week, some virtual, some in person. But they're excited about this. I spoke with assistant conductor Karen Neverin about this event. Well, Karen, I know this is exciting for you guys. I mean, finally, at least a little bit of an audience coming back. Let's talk about the Winston-Salem Symphony and kind of the half step back to a full audience. What, what will this, what's going to happen in the next concert? It's so exciting. We're live. We're with a live audience. It's also going to be live streamed. So kind of hybrid, I guess. But most important for us, we've got an audience. We've got two fantastic musicians, our principal cellist, Brooks Whitehouse, and our principal double bassist, Paul Sharp, with us in their comedic duo, Low and Lower. And uh, the event is called Limoncello because 2020 gave us lemons. Let's let's talk a little bit about the, the feeling with you guys, because finally, I know this is partially virtual, partially live, but uh, to have any audience at all must be a thrill for musicians and conductors. Music is such a, a special art form and the audience is a big part of that. So being able to have that live energy means so much to us. And just to have that feeling, it's like Christmas, right? It's like Christmas Eve. That's what Wednesday night's going to feel like for Thursday. From a performance standpoint, when you know that you might actually be reaching a lot more virtually than you are in person, how do musicians and conductors handle that? What's, go what's the thought process? It's been an incredible process, really. One of our online events, Etherbound, reached 200,000 people this wow. year, which was just incredible. So in our development, we have this really cool thing called Stage Pass, which will allow our subscribers to reach us online at all of live streamed events. So following our events at Sika, we've got our classics one and two and three this fall, which obviously would normally be attended in person, but this time we get 26 of our amazing musicians on stage and people from all over the world, including my my parents can stream in and see what's happening. <laughs> That's awesome. Even the parents from Ireland are going to be there. Awesome. But care, listen, thank you so much for this. We'll we can now we can all watch whether you have uh, an in-person ticket or not. We appreciate your time. Mm -hmm.